Hi Scorpio, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. The message could be for you. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind, these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, all are located down below in the description box. You can check me out over on Instagram. I just post more things on quantum physics and crazy stuff over there. If you guys want, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and dive in. Thanks so much for um, all your support. Let's jump into this. Good, we got some different cards. Some of the signs are pulling out the same cards. We have tackle adversity head on. A path with no bend is boring. These are such fascinating cards. We have time to rekindle, take the wheel in your hand. Okay. That's an interesting combo. Both of these feel like you're just getting back in the driver's seat. For a while, maybe there was some adversity that had come your way, but now you're approaching the situations head on and you're not like backing away anymore. But yeah, like, yeah, it could, <laughs> a path with no bend is boring. So it feels like this adversity might be um, like switching things up for you or just giving you some kind of variety, helping you. It might be helping you more than you think. Even though the adversity has some challenges that aren't the best, it actually might be helping you in more ways. Like it might be helping your brain to just come up with new ways to think about things. And it's just like finally pulling you out of some kind of process. You have time, this time to rekindle. And again, this one is like, you're tackling adversity head on and you're taking the wheel back. So for those of you, if you had lost a little bit of power, not gonna take very long. It looks like you're taking your power back in some significant way. Um, but it looks like you, time to rekindle. We are in Venus retrograde, so you might be rekindling with some people, Scorps. I'm not totally sure. Okay, it's very Aquarian energy. We have humanity and knowledge. Okay, I love this. Um, how very interesting. Okay, there's been some situations that have been coming in, and you might be... I don't know if you guys are like involved in humanitarianism in some way shape or form but it's almost like you have all this knowledge of your adversity or you're gaining a lot of knowledge in this particular time i'm also seeing that whatever if you're going through this adversity or these challenges it looks like it's going to some of you guys might use that knowledge later on and you help others that are less fortunate or you're going you might be doing something really significant like that like helping less fortunate in some and sharing your knowledge it feels like that's what's going to help you in some very fascinating way like maybe it will turn the wheel in your favor we've got attraction okay this is good i love this card Okay, so we have the eclipse, and then we have the multiverse. Okay, I freaking love this. So the multiverse to me, I know it's different in her book, but I like to go by different stuff. Okay, you've got all, for those of you that have a lot of networking open up, some of you guys, it might be that you need to put yourself on in some type of avenue where you're accessible by a lot of energies like a lot can see you perceive you it could be something online some of you it could be a platform but this is some kind of like there are a lot of energies involved in this okay now can you even see that no so look at it's involved with this humanity card and there's something about this eclipse card that's like the unseen, right? Because eclipses are where the moon passes across the sun and for a bit you don't see, you're not illuminated. Like it, it feels like you're in the dark. 
So I'm seeing that you guys might go into a situation and this is more of like a, hey, you, there will probably be typical stuff. You don't see everything on the surface, okay? <laughs> As in people could be thinking that about you. It could be vice versa. But this attraction card is the everything about it. Right now, you can, like, your law of attraction is everything to what you attract. Obviously, this is common sense. But there are specific things that when you apply knowledge to yourself and your, and, like, catering to your vibration in a multitude of different ways that what you attract is going to reflect that and so i'm seeing that there's an energy that's going to respond but you need to have open avenues is pretty much what i'm trying to get at there could be situations pop up where you could go into do something for the greater good it could be more charitable or you're doing service in some particular way but i'm seeing a lot of different interactions there you just might like be making that accessible in some way but the eclipse is like you could be trying to see beyond the front surface you know where you know how people put their best foot forward it's just how it goes but you've got something here where you might want to take time in between interactions to see what's underneath the surface because maybe intuitively you'll pick up on it but most situations are going to reflect you with that attraction card. So if you apply knowledge towards your vibration and you're not also putting out this energy of like, I'm keeping a part of myself hidden, that doesn't last very long. Like entanglements are tested and true. Whoever you entangle with, like people will figure out what's in the hidden always it's just, it's just like a guarantee okay wow so we have the judgment <laughs> what does that remind me of look who's back from the dead what is that on that's on a movie is it aladdin no hocus pocus i don't know should i move along jaws judgment card okay we're in the retrograde season, so there are significant energies that are coming back for awakenings, revelations. Are you ready for this? Okay, so you have the full card. All right. We have the Seven of Swords. Wow, that son of a bitch. Okay, we have the King of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Oh, they lied. Oh, wow. This is so messed up. Okay. So I love these cards so much. I haven't used them in so long. But I'm always like, I refuse to get rid of them. They're one of my favorite decks. Okay. So we have, <laughs> we have the higher font. Okay. Wow. Did you guys switch rules? We have the seven of pentacles. We have the ace of swords. Damn! I cannot wait to get into this, Scorpio. <laughs> All right. Two of Wands. Okay, this is already. And then the Six of Wands. Hilarious. Okay, it's not. It's funny and it's not funny. Okay, I have wrong reactions for things, so please ignore me. Here's what's going on. Okay, you have a situation coming back from the past. I don't know if it's with a specific water sign, but for crying out loud, you could have a person here that they lied. I'm just going to say it straight up. They lied. They could have, um, wow, their deception could have been, this is why this card is so freaking profound. It could have, they could have kept you hooked on hope hooked on the hope of, and energetically, it was actually draining from you or taking from you. Not anymore, because there's been some kind of revelation or wake-up call, like holy awakening between the judgment and the Ace of Swords. There was some huge breakthrough in this situation. If you guys have not received it yet, it is coming freaking soon, okay? 
And pretty much what it's going to do, it's going to set you free. <laughs> Look at the fool card. There you are, free as a bird. You have no guilt, no energy, no nothing tied to this situation. Something about it is going to help you officially break free. That's why, how very fascinating. So you could have been de dealing, okay, this energy, this person, some of you guys, this person has a ton of emotions. Like this person, I'm not going to get in. I don't know. We'll see what details I want to get into. You finally could have been realizing that there was like something going on in your situation and you could have been like, what the heck? And felt tied to it still from the lack of either the lack of truth or the lack of information whatever was held from you it created some kind of adversity some of you guys it could have been in your health it could have been in a wide range of things okay enough was enough truth had to come out one of those situations so you could have decided one day to try to like take adversity head on you could have Maybe you got fed up or that could have been the case. This either already happened or some of you guys are gonna get to this point. Timelines are fluid in these readings. This person is gonna wanna rekindle. All right, look at all the cards coming up. They might want to express something to you. They could be explanations. I don't really think there's anything to be heard because like you're already on a new path, but fascinatingly, Wow, with the Hierophant, this is going to be really profound as far as the lessons that come up from this because it's almost like you and this person are going to switch roles, okay? So this is sometimes what can happen in these interactions from entanglements, depending on the level of how much you get enmeshed in this person's emotions and experiences it's going to be different for all of you but if it was romance or you became sexually active with this person that can be a whole level of things so it depends on how deep you got entrenched in this person's emotional experience and and like and pathing whatever you want to call it so from that if this person was deception there could have been some mirroring you maybe had either an impulse to be dishonest or lie on some of you guys you could have corrected the situation because there was all these awakenings that were taking place and i'm seeing that it was too like these untruths or whatever had been keeping if there was lies or deceptions or whatever it was truths had come out and it looks like if you had been kept in some kind of casket of hope, literally, like hanging on this person's energy because they didn't tell you everything, now that's when the roles reverse. Because, but it, it comes when you take your power back because more than likely this person, maybe once in a blue moon, the, the truth will come to light by them. But more than often, it can be when you trigger the process by approaching the adversity head on. That's what I'm trying to get around to saying. When you finally kind of break your, through your communications or you like open up your throat chakra and start saying what you've been experiencing, that's when there's like this little bit of a butterfly effect, literally, because it, it, it starts creating this ripple effect all across connections that you're entangled with. And then they start uh, like expressing things. So yeah, nice to acknowledge that and make, yes, there's the whole factor of providing a safe environment for people to feel safe enough to express the truth. There is that. But that's one side of things. I don't know what the details of what you guys are dealing with, but there's a huge breakthrough coming. If it hasn't already, it is coming. And you're going to actually finally move forward and get out of some kind of internal process. This literally happens. And it's an on an energetic level. Like you can literally 
your mind is just so freaking powerful. If it's hung up on one of seeing the perception of one person or a, si a certain situation in one light, and if this person had, they had been deceptive, but they made it like projected onto you and you were holding that perception for a significant amount of time, seriously, it affects you more than you can even realize. And that's why, oh, you're free as a freaking bird, Scorpio, <laughs> when you see this. And then all of a sudden, you're going to be placed in this position of being this like teacher student where you're like, okay, you know, now you're put in this person's shoes, depending on the level of mirroring that went on, if you had deceived them or there was like any of that that went on. Now you're like back, you're like seeing their side of the situation that's why you guys will kind of go through a role reversal you'll be experiencing each other's emotions that's why the king of cups is coming in because like you're gonna swap like trade places that's what's so fascinating about the higher font when it comes in because it's a teacher student and teachers learn learn from students all, the majority of the time you can be teaching a student but they can come up and tell you the most profound things and so that is also something involved in this this person could have tried to help you out um i don't know humanitarian is involved in some way shape or form i'm not totally sure exactly what it's about but yeah eclipses are exposing a whole bunch of stuff whatever was hidden it's all coming out to the light so i'm seeing you coming in with a victory okay you're gonna be the one like coming out successful or being victorious in this situation so trust like taking a leap of faith especially if you guys were held back for a long time you are about to be set free my friends so let me dive into the extended we'll see whatever freaking else wants to come out if you guys want to join me over there feel free go down below click on the Vimeo link see you over there but Scorpio if this is where we leave things sending you so much love wishing you all the very best see you in your next reading take care